nice to meet you all uh, today uh, actually it should be a PT ortho uh, session but since we have almost covered uh, all the theoretical portions and uh, instructive portions of uh, PT ortho and only the skill part is left those skills parts we would uh, like to uh, it can be covered when the college is reopened. So until then, I would like to make use of the PT ortho class also for clinical ortho because we have a lot of portions to be covered in the clinical ortho. So let us uh, complete them uh, in the PT ortho class also. Okay. Coming to today's uh, session, it is going to be uh, a continuation of the previous uh, clinical ortho uh, topic that is about the tumor, bone tumor. We have been seeing uh, in the bone tumor uh, the category called uh, benign tumor we have been seeing. We have not yet gone to the malignant tumor. In the benign tumor we have seen there are four types are there uh, which are osteoma, chondroma, osteochondroma and giant cell tumor. These are the four types. In that uh, osteoma, about osteoma we have seen in the previous class. And today in this class we are going to see the second and third types. Okay. So the second type is chondroma. Chondroma means cartilage. Chondro means cartilage. So the name itself says the tumor, this tumor affects the cartilage portions of the bone. Especially the growth plate at the end of the bone. In the bone, just below the articular cartilage, there is a plate, growth plate for the bones. That is the area where the bone growth takes place. We call it bone uh, growth plate in that area it is commonly this uh, chondroma can take place chondroma is nothing but it's a extra unnecessary cell growth at that area that can happen in two different forms either it can occur from the surface from the surface of the bone it can develop as a, a extra growth can occur as a rounded uh, and uh, irregular shapes the bone growth can occur this is called as yuck chondroma yuck means out outside outside the surface the another type is the same bone growth uh, cartilage growth can occur within the cartilage and it can push later on this is called yen chondroma okay from the surface and growth outside is called a chondroma within the bone and then for later on pushing the bone outside is called yen chondroma in kind of yen chondroma and yen uh, chondroma if you see it is both of them are commonly seen uh, in the smaller bones of the hands and feet especially the hand bones are very commonly affected coming to yen chondroma it's very common in the fla flat bones also flat bones like uh, skull and uh, iliac uh, bone, hip bone. Coming to enchondroma, it's very common only in the smaller bones. Sometimes, rarely it can occur uh, in the long bones also. When it occurs in the long bone, uh, similarly in the uh, epiphyseal growth plate it occurs. And uh, it occurs like enchondroma and gradually pushes the uh, cortex, cortex of the uh, bone and uh, up to the joint surface it, it pushes and it enlarges and uh, because of this reason you know it affects the growth of the bone long bones when the long bones are affected either the limb length, limb length discrepancy can be visibly occur so that is the major uh, uh, pathological process that takes place when it comes to enchondroma in the longer bones so Coming to the clinical features, similarly osteoma, similar to osteoma, there is no much other, other clinical features except the growth of the bone and sometimes for the palpation when you see it, it will be rounded or irregular portions of the bone growth can be seen on the flat bone or in the long bone or small bones and uh, there is no other uh, clinical features are obviously uh, noted. So because of this reason, when it comes to treatment, only for the reason of cosmetic appearances surgical excision the removal of the bone tumor is indicated otherwise it is left alone that means it is left uh, untreated that is a thing for the uh, chondroma treatment part of the chondroma 
I am coming to the third type. The third type is osteochondroma. So here you can see the name implies the growth of the bone takes place both at the uh, compact bone as well as at the cartilage bone. That's why it's called as osteochondroma. Bone and the cartilage both are mixed here. Again, it is very. This is a very commonest form of benign tumor out of all four. And uh, again, this also takes place at the epifacial bone growth, uh, bone bone plates. That is the area where the growth takes place, and it is very common in the long bones, especially the tibia, femur, humerus, radius, ulna, like that. Uh, long bones, it is very common. And when it occurs, the, where there's a classical feature occurs in this uh, type of bone uh, tumor is when there is a bone growth, it occurs like a like a mushroom grow, growth out of the bone. And mostly the mushroom growth takes place towards the center of the shaft of the bone. Okay. And uh, when, when there is a growth, the stalk, there will be a stem-like appearance will be there that will be very thin and then a rounded portion will occur. So, exactly like a mushroom growth, you can see uh, at the outer surface of the bone. When, when we take the radiograph, it can be very clearly seen. Okay. Now, this, since it is, this also takes place at the bone uh, growth plate, this could affect the bone growth very uh, predominantly. And uh, sometimes it can also result bone deformities and uh, visible deformities and disabilities in the patients. And not only that, this particular uh, bone growth can result pain also to some patients. Pain and uh, when you palpate, there will be also tenderness outside the bone uh, tumor. That's a clinical feature about this problem. And uh, coming to the treatment part. Treatment part of the osteochondroma is, it is again, depending upon the symptom and the cosmetic reasons, it can be, either it can be uh, surgically removed or it can be left alone. And uh, here a point I have to mention here, uh, unless osteoma, the chondroma and osteochondroma both can sometimes become malignant. Occasionally it happens in the long bone, especially when, when they affect the long bones, it can become uh, malignant tumors. When it comes to malignant tumors, they take the form of uh, chondrosarcoma. It, it, then it is called as chondrosarcoma. So then it has to be metastatically, you know, whatever is the cancerous treatment should be given, that treatment should be given for those uh, things. Initially it occurs as a benign and later changes into the malignant form. That is also a risk, of, uh, risk uh, associated with these two type of uh, benign tumors. That's it for today. And uh, tomorrow we will see the another type called giant cell tumor. That is also a benign tumor that affects the long bones, which we will see tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day.